What's going on, everybody? It's crazy Russian 86 here. Welcome back to another video. You know, I've been thinking. Like, I've not been doing nothing all day, pretty much. And, uh, I don't know. Like... I'm pretty lonely person, underachiever, 37 years old, have nothing to look forward for in life. No kids, no family, no nothing. And guess what? I don't even feel bad. People feel sorry for me that I don't have any friends. Don't see my girlfriend as often. And people say that it's not for real. And I should just be done with her. And I should just. Get somebody else. Get a job. Be more successful. Get a girlfriend. Whatever. People say I need to make friends. Because I'm lonely. People say I'm not being nice to people that I talk bad things about people and I say how I feel, I guess. I know they don't tell me nothing, but that's just probably how they think. I'm insulting people are possibly better than me because they have more things than me, more exciting life perhaps, but And really, I may be a jealous one, I don't know, but I might talk about some people who have nothing to offer rather than sex like that, complete garbage. And in reality, they treat me like garbage, like, but they feel like I'm worse than they are because they're more normal. I just, and I should be nice to everybody, but I'm just not because I don't care. Well, I'm just really happy to be all alone. I'm really happy to be by myself. Of course, I want like sensation seeking and you know, I'm not gonna lie that when I say about somebody else she's only good for sex. Yeah, I mean, that's what I want out of that person. I'm not gonna lie. And some people say, oh, I'm jealous. It's why I act that way, but but in reality, I feel like there is a value in that person, really. I really seriously thinking about it and thinking, and I watch this video of Russian psychologists, and some of them say, you know what, this woman who criticizes you, who fucks your brain out, and all of that, she really likes you, she just wants you to be a better person, that's why she says this thing. So I'm thinking about it, I'm like, hmm. Well, communication is important, but I just don't want to tell people how I feel, you know, I just don't want that woman, you know, like, I feel like attacked sometimes when she tells me shit, and also I feel like I just don't want to tell her, like, oh, why are you attacking me? I cannot do things differently. I can attack differently. And I know it, but when she tells me shit, I'm like, she's trying to, like, improve me, and it's a good thing, but when you realize that you can only do things certain way, act certain way, and you don't want no change in your life, she has good intentions, but should they take it? And it's my case, of course. I'm talking about me and Lydia, of course, I guess. I take it like she's attacking my way of life. And I perceive her as an enemy because of that. Because I hate when she's doing that. Because I don't see anything wrong with my actions. 
And when she corrects me, I'm like, what the fuck are you correcting me? I'm not doing nothing wrong. Like, fuck you. And um, sometimes I just realize I cannot do things better. And I feel like I'm better than she is because I'm the one who is doing things for her. But yet, you know, she likes to put me down. That's how I feel. You know. So then I put her down, but when I tell her things, I'm not, I don't know, which I should put, be putting her down, really. You know, there's a fine line between, like, putting people down or s telling to them your truth, which is not necessarily nice to, nicest thing to say, but when I'm reality, I'm not all of that either. And people put me down saying that this is their truth about me when I don't know if that's necessarily the truth either. It's their perception. Just like some people see me as a lonely person thinking that I'm miserable. Because and you know, it's funny because I also wanted like to have more fun and be around people when I was younger. But at the same time, that's like a conundrum because I think that I want to be around people because I feel like, you know, it's good to have more fun, sex, can go out with people and this and that. But when I realize that there are some prerequisites for that, you need to be certain way and act certain way in order to have it. I'm like, you know what? I'm probably better off by myself. Because people give me stress, they give me anger, they give me anxiety. But when I'm all by myself and I do my own thing, I actually feel happier. Because I feel like I can do things my own way. I can act how I want. I can live how I want. Yes, it's lonely, but I like that freedom, you know. Versus when I'm with people, you know, I have to defend myself. I don't have as much freedom when I'm with people, really, because people take me the wrong way. I have to argue with them. They shut me down. They're telling me you shouldn't be like that. You shouldn't act like that. And I feel differently. So it's like there is this anger. There is arguments in there. There are problems. All by myself. I do whatever needs to be done. As long as I work and do things and get somewhere, I'm cool. I don't have to deal with the wrong perception of me. I don't have to answer to nobody. Yeah, it's lonely, but... There is freedom there. There is place to step forward there. I don't have to deal with the bullshit. I don't have to deal with the wrong perception of me. I can focus on things. I don't owe anybody any explanation. You know? I don't have to be under constant stress. I don't have none of these problems. And also I don't have to worry about negative consequences as much because if people treat me like I don't exist I feel calmer I feel like if it's at the job I may not get fired because I'm an invisible man and I can do the job any way I want to and I don't have to answer to nobody I still get the money and that's actually happiness because I know that that way the possibility of me getting fired is lower because I'm that invisible man who just works and nobody sees me. And I like to have that feeling because I know that I can progress on my term and I'm still going to get the money, which is the most important thing. And I can be visible on YouTube or other areas of life. If I have money, I can buy things for my woman and we have sex. Or if I don't have a woman, I can always pay for sex, which is again freedom. Because then if I pay for sex, I use woman for what they are, for what's their worth, 
and I don't have to like deal with negative part of being in a relationship such as bitching, nagging, you know, her not liking what I'm doing in my life, her criticizing me, things like that. I don't have to deal with that shit. I have complete freedom. And I get woman. And I get what I want from woman, which is sex and kisses and that stuff. You know, and I don't have to deal with negative part of the relationship. Such as her being not happy with my actions. See? And that's exactly what was my biggest pet peeve with Lydia. Not your body count. I mean, it's good to know that she is like that, but... I wish I would know that, I mean. But even if I do, it doesn't matter. If I really want to be with her, I will be with her regardless, but... And if I don't, I won't be with her regardless. But... You know... I mean, it is what it is. It's not necessarily a bad thing. You have experiences in life which other people are concealed from in some ways. Because it's not easy to get what you want out of people, especially when people treat you like a child because they're telling you, hey, you need to be certain way and act certain way in order to have sex or get women or this or that. With you, you can just get drunk and get you know, that experience. And me as a man, I'm thinking to myself that if I wouldn't be in a relationship, if I was a single man, if I would have an opportunity and guts and confidence just to fuck drunken woman without any obligation, that would be great. As a single man, that would be a great experience to have. You can just do that Get your rocks off easily. Without any obligations. You don't have to worry about nothing. If you're single. If you were the woman, you have worry. Oh, you know what? If I do that, maybe I'm going to lose the woman I like. But if you're single, you just don't give a fuck. You just take advantage of a drunken bitch and... Fuck. Instant gratification right there. And that's something which actually makes me feel happy anyway. And makes me feel good to get that type of instant gratification. So. Woman who give me that is actually a viable woman to me. And if she acts passionate, why not? You see, people say, oh, you know what? Women have to have so high self-esteem. You need to be this or that. Like what you see in me. Well, beauty is the eyes of the beholder. Sometimes woman could be complete shit. Could be complete like zero, but men can look at her and see. I love your passion. I actually like to take care of you. I look at you like this little cat, a little dog, and it's like, you know, I feel like. I feel that motherly instinct in a way, and I kind of attracted to that. It's crazy, but. Sometimes people laugh, people like that just love to have a feeling of like, oh, somebody I could take care of, so I can feel strong around that person. I feel like good about myself, I feel like I'm making a difference in people's lives, and then you love person for giving you that feeling.
you like person for their passion because you feel that passion and you like it. And you cannot like, you know, tell for other people how they should feel or how they should think. We all look for different things. And there is no good or bad in this life. It's just experiences. It's just action, reaction. It just, it is what it is. Life is just a journey. And I'm out. Thanks for watching.